Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this episode we're going to make a gorgeous easel card using Anna's easel card making kit. The only extra item we're going to use is a little pink bow and I've been asked about using more ribbon um, and making bows and using more ribbon in the future which I shall take on board and add to my list and hopefully you never know where we'll do something with that soon. If you want to see anything, if there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know and I shall do my best. All the information of everything I use will always be on my blog in the full list. So if I ever forget to mention anything, I always put everything on there. There's always lots more different projects on my blog. And there's some very interesting um, articles on there, especially about somebody that I met last week, which was awesome. So please check the blog out and see what you think let me know do you like our photo if you follow me on instagram there's always more photos behind the scenes of projects and things like that so just you know follow me wherever housekeeping over okay so we're going to make an easel card and i do like easel cards we did one a couple of weeks ago where we made it from um two ovals with some of anna's frames because we didn't have the easel kit in this country then. Because I can only show you things normally that are in the UK that have been on screen uh, here. So, now we've had the easel card. And I can show you just how beautiful it is. I love this kit. And um, I love all the kits, but I do like this one. This one is special. Now in the kit you get everything you could possibly need to make the easel card. And when you open it and look at everything and think, how on earth do I make an easel card from those two things? It's very, very simple and there also includes instructions in the kit. Now one of the pieces that you're going to need looks like a card already. It looks like... It's a card, but it's got a floppy front, and on the back of the floppy front is some adhesive. The other section that you would marry up is the top of the card. Now, this is going to make the easel section, and the little bit on the floppy card will make the mechanic of the easel. So I'm going to show you how we'll put that together. It is very simple. Don't worry about mechanics and things like that. It's just a term that I'm using. So we're going to take the card that looks like you just don't know what to do with it. And we're going to turn the floppy bit up. Now I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure that that is a nice sharp score. Because you know me, I just can't not do that. So we'll do that for the score for the fold line. And then this white section is actually strong adhesive. So we peel that away. And so now that is really, really, really sticky. And we take this section that is the same shape as the base. Because there's two different shapes in there. And I'm just going to turn mine around so I can see. So then we add this one section to the adhesive section. And you marry up the edges and press it down like that. And then, if I turn that sideways, you've got the start of the easel card. Now we get to decorate it and add all those gorgeous embellishments. Now again, these are all from the kit. The first thing that I've picked is a frame. Now I've put 3D foam on the back of mine. You can add it flat or with foam. So I'm just going to add the frame on the base layer. So now it's just like you're decorating a card front. So our frame has gone on there. Next, in the kit you get some gold layers in different shapes, so I'm going to add one of the gold layers. I've got 3D foam on the back of this, and I'm just going to put that through the centre of the easel. 
like so. I'm going to try and get it straight. Story of my life. There we go. And next, I've got a sentiment that I'm going to add. And these are stickers, so I'm going to peel the back of it away and I'm going to add the sticker through the centre of the gold layer. Now already that's looking regal. That's looking awesome so far. But now we're going to add a few of the flower embellishments that are included in the kit. And these are just so pretty and the colours of them just work so well. So I'm going to add them around the edge of the sentiment. I'm not worrying about where I'm putting them too much and I'm just you see how I've used this one these are all stickers of the little flowers I've peeled the back of it away but I've also put 3d foam on it and um, the 3d foam is going to just add that little bit of height at the edge so that when I pop it alongside this section the flowers are flat at that part but the leaves are standing up and and the same on the same level hope that makes sense and then we've got our final embellishment for the front and I think I'll add that I think I'll add that to one side there like that there we go. And my little bow will add just to one corner. So now the front is finished. And as pretty as it is, it looks like a gorgeous card. But it doesn't do anything yet. So it won't stand up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a sentiment in the inside. Now I've taken one of the sentiments from the kit and I've added 3D foam on it and I'm just going to add it just slightly to the bottom away from the centre if that makes sense. And then I've also taken one of the flower embellishments and I'm going to add this just to the side of our sentiment like that. Shall we have it over it or under it? I think there. And that will act as your stopper for the easel when you flip the front over like so. And that, if I can show you sideways, let's see if I can do this. So to stop this middle section, sorry the top section falling flat, you've got your little sentiment at the bottom. So when it stands up, it stands up like that. So pretty, really pretty. And I just hope that's given you an idea of how to use the easel card making kit. Very versatile, you can do so much with it. Add your own imagination, add some other other items to it. It's just such a perfect kit. Now I know many of you are looking at that and thinking, oh your leaves are sticking out. Yes they are. So because I'm pedantic, I'm now thinking I need to move that. And we won't make a big song and dance about it, we shall just pop it there. That way, it's all now as if it was meant to be. Because it's our creations and that's what we can do. We can change our minds if we like. I do hope you've enjoyed watching. Please share my projects. Please share with your crafty friends in your crafty forums, on your social media, wherever you want to share. Please get in touch. Please comment. Please find me on, as I say, on my blog and Instagram. I do love making the videos and I appreciate every one of you watching. So thank you. 
So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.